doesn't believe in God and knows how to saw a lady in half. <laughs> And I'm hoping the two aren't related. I, we'll, we'll find out. Joining me now, master illusionist and the author of the upcoming book, God, No, Signs You May Already Be an Atheist and Other Magical Tales, Penn Gillette is here. What a festive, what a festive group. Can I, uh, you t and, Gun, uh, gun. You oh, can no, say, no, 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 no. You can say no. I, oh. It's just, it's not often I have a chance. Do you mind in inspecting that and making sure that that's a, an actual deck? Uh, I hate to do that. I mean, it's one of those things. Like, if you get a chance to have a slam dunk contest with LeBron, sure. you got to pull a little I, I something believe, out. May I take you to the movies? Huh? Yeah. I, I yeah, take yeah. you to the movies? Okay. No, no, I was going to perform for you. If that's I know, all right. I'm going to take, okay. so take you to the movies. All right, so go ahead and uh, just give it a shuffle. I'm, make sure that's a good deck. Yeah, I'm just, and you're I'm happy just seeing it. if they're marked. That's yeah. how you. No, no, no. You know how you tell uh, Mark cards? You, well, you throw them out of the deck? That no, I'm throwing out the, uh, the jokers and the advertising cards. Ah, there we go. But see, what you do is if the cards are marked, they'll have stuff on the back here. So you do what's called going to the movies. And you flip through oh, it. If anything shuffle. moves on the back, I thought you were going to masturbate you, under a coat. You've got, you've got a. <laughs> let saying. me show you. This. Let me show you this. See, if you do this, you do that, and you can see anything on the back. It means that the cards are marked. If anything moves around, so this is an unmarked deck. I was going to give them a quick uh, shuffle, and uh, I'll even do an overhand shuffle. Wow. Turn one over in between. You've already given me more respect than I've ever deserved on this set, by the way. This was a. Uh... And uh, we'll uh, we'll give those to you. All right. There you go, right there. And, do uh, your worst. We'll do it. We'll do it real quick. Real quick. Go, just little grasshopper. Any card, sir. Just pick whichever one you like. Uh, not even a force. It's not card. a force, okay. by the way. It's a fantastic choice. Okay. Now, in God, no. You state. <laughs> you state that you're not. You're not anti. This is an important point to make. You say that you're not anti-Christianity. You say you're just anti-faith in general. You just sliced a PA open. Yeah. Right here. Like, <laughs> it's a PA. It doesn't matter. Um, you Life say that you're anti-faith. Why, why, why well, is you know, that concerned? Uh, uh, there's, there's a wonderful quote that just said, uh, you know, f faith is all that matters in religion, and faith absolutely is trying to be kept out of, uh, of science. And the, uh, pro one of the things I learned doing our show BS on Showtime mm -hmm. was how wonderful uh, American Christians are, especially the fundamentalists and so on. Uh, ex you would get these wonderful letters from people who, after we would do these very strong atheistic shows, these beautiful letters about uh, appreciating our passion and uh, appreciating the marketplace of ideas mm -hmm. and all the ideas and thought about it, and then sending us Bibles and proselytizing. And one of the reasons I wrote the book was I was so thrilled and kind of delighted with people caring about me enough to proselytize. I just wanted to enter the marketplace of ideas and get my point of view. But I think that the idea of faith, the idea that you're supposed to believe in things that you can't demonstrate to others, mm -hmm. is uh, it leaves out the rest of the world. I mean, one of the things that's wonderful about a shared reality, uh, proving something to someone else, is if we're having an argument over whether something exists or mm -hmm. not, and we follow the ground rules, then we are sharing the world. We are together exploring the world. As soon as you I think say, religion ignores those ground rules, it those... ignores those ground rules because then I can say, I have this faith in my heart. Mm -hmm. I believe it. I can't prove it to you. I just believe it, which is a really roundabout way to say those two magic words that aren't Merry Christmas. You know, it says drop dead. It says go away. Mm -hmm. I believe this in my heart and I won't prove it to you. And the wonderful thing about love and humanity and sharing is proving things to each other, the marketplace of ideas, you know, Jefferson idea. So now, now I consider myself an agnostic, which I thought was interesting well, that, I, I, that... Then you're wrong. What, no, well, that's... <laughs> And that's that's what's so interesting. I love this. That it's like atheists love to say, well, you know, we we we. It's it's almost as, as if you're saying there's there's proof that no, that no, a no, higher no. being doesn't exist. It. But what does the word agnostic mean? What does the gnostic root mean? Can someone Google Greek? that for me? Because I okay. Um, have a what it means clip. is no. So what you're saying is it's 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 a term that was coined by Thomas Huxley, who was uh, who was Darwin's pit bull, and uh, he he did all the fights for Darwin. Mm -hmm. And what it is is it can't be known. So a, a, atheist, right. atheist is you don't believe, and agnostic is you don't know. Correct. But those aren't the same terms. Agnostic answers the epistemological question, and atheist answers the theological question. So I ask you, mm -hmm. do you believe in God? I have not asked you, do you think it's possible to know whether there's a God or not? If I ask you... Well, that was the question I would answer when people ask me my faith. I say, I don't believe it's possible to know. Absolutely. Right. And once you don't believe it's possible to know... You are atheist.
you're not agnostic. Agnostic is one level, which everybody is. Everybody in the world is agnostic except for maybe the Pope and me. But uh, everybody else is agnostic. Well, it's funny. You, you actually but say that you think... I think the Pope might be lying. You, well, you also say that, that people who say they believe typically don't actually believe. You know, that's the thing. Every time a religious person... You know, they, there's this expression, there are no atheists in foxholes. There's nothing but atheists in foxholes. If you really believe in God and he can do anything and he's watching over you, why would you duck when there are bullets flying? It's his will. Why would you put on seatbelts? Why would you stop at a red light? Everybody lives their life as though they were atheists. And to finish the agnostic thing, if you don't know, mm -hmm. you don't believe. Believing is active. When you say, I don't is believe in God... Is it possible to God, believe that you don't know? When, sure. But when, you're, when you say, I... Uh, there's no God. I don't believe in God. Mm -hmm. When you're saying that, you're not saying it's impossible that there could be a God. You're not saying there might not be evidence tomorrow. You're not saying that you have enough information to make that decision. You're saying right now, I don't believe. So I I'm going to ask you, right. uh, are, are there four sleeping bags in the trunk of your car right now? Uh, you three of them are occupied by dead hookers, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you don't know. Right. And if you don't know, you don't believe it. I guess, for me, I, I say, at some point, I, I'm a man of science. I try to fancy myself a man of science. I know what, three things about it. You won the Nobel it. Prize what year? Uh, 1987. Okay, so yeah. 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 It was a long while ago. That. I'm sure yeah, the books have been updated. But you look so that's, cute in the tux. I was really so adorable. cute in the yeah. tux. <laughs> so ill-fitting. But I go, like, okay, if at some point I'm supposed to believe fundamentally that there is uh, that there is a God, there's a higher being, there's a power, maybe it's a bearded dude with sandals, I don't know that. Um, I don't necessarily think that version exists, but if I'm supposed to believe in this Big Bang theory, these gases are swirled around, they yeah, the, smattered the, into each other, I, how do those gases get there? At the some big, point, the you don't know, bang, you have to believe. Yeah, there's the prime mover. And at some point, if you say you do believe in God, and God started this all and it wasn't the Big Bang, you have the same problem, just one level back. Right, exactly. Who we'll created never God? know. Who created, we'll never know. But while you don't know, and I don't know, mm -hmm. what do you believe? What's your default setting? See, I believe I don't second, know. Right, which is, you believe you don't right. know, and once you say you don't know, you don't believe, you're an atheist. I think, hard, uh, I, hard I, I, the, I, I think there's slay. a fundamental difference between saying I believe I don't know versus there is no. That's yeah, the right, terminology right, right, right. I can do. But, it's but just, I want to talk about believe. pornography now. Oh, good. Because <laughs> we're almost out of time, and, and, and uh, I, you give uh, a name check to... Your book, sure. which I think is fantastic. Sure. Uh, you, met, you, you recount a tale where you went to a, a gay spa and had some of the gayest experiences I've ever heard well, but also, in San Francisco, but never actually had gay sex. I tried. Um, <laughs> which there's, is there's an expression, he couldn't get laid in a, in, a, in a woman's prison with a fistful of pardons. <laughs> right. There was a time in our history, there was a time in our history in the early 80s when there were gay bathhouses in San Francisco right. where they, and this was all said by everybody, including the gay population of San Francisco, that those people in the gas bathhouses would have sex with anyone. Right. I'm here to tell you, <laughs> they would not have sex <laughs> with me. Uh, I told my girlfriend, I'm going to go to a gay bathhouse. She right. said, are you trying to find out if you're gay, trying to sell me something? I said, no, no. One guy that I met said, it's hard to live in a straight world when you're gay. And I said, I, I don't know. I wouldn't be bothered by people having gay right. sex His argument me. was, it's hard to live in that world because there's people making out and yeah, public yeah, yeah. displays of affection everywhere. And my everywhere. feeling was that wouldn't bother me. So I went to, I believe, the gayest place on earth. Which, <laughs> which straight... It's California Adventure. <laughs> yes, exactly. In one sense, it's California Adventure. <laughs> right. In in the other sense, it was club baths in San Francisco. So I went and spent a whole evening, and I was kind of thinking that I didn't want to misrepresent myself right. uh, and have to turn people down. Turned out, after six hours, I had not turned one person <laughs> right. down. And so I was actually cruising. But it turns out, if you want to find somebody, if you want to say, these gay men will have sex with anything, anything at all, this is what they will not have sex with. <laughs> <laughs> and the amazing thing is, um, for whatever reason, right. uh, women have had sex with me. I am a married man with children. So it's it's not human beings. I love that you went from I'm worried about breaking hearts to you put a, a giant it's open sign. Sure, in on sure, you and no one came. Sure. Well, and you I, know, we're out of time. We're out of time. Pat. I even had a little, little sign that said permanent damage okay. <laughs> I just I tried everything and just failed. I got, people have got to pick up the book. It is a, a hilarious and fascinating read. I love your viewpoints on the world. I wish we had time to get to the TSA and everything else. But, oh, yeah, but Penn, absolute pleasure to chat with you. You're an atheist. Yeah.
He's an atheist. Sticker, I believe I don't know. He's an atheist. God now will be released He's on August atheist. 16th. Atheist. And of course, atheists. Hey, atheists don't plug Vegas shows. Agnostics oh, do. Sorry. Thank oh, you. Oh, oh, suddenly. A reverse. Oh, he's an agnostic. David Ken Penitentiary performing nightly at the Rio in Las Vegas. There's more time coming up after this. Stick around.